Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you some of my secret weapons for being super productive. These items are going to be great if you're a student or if you're a YouTuber like myself. They are things that will make your life a lot easier and let's get into it. So, the first thing is pretty basic and it's a kind of a no-brainer, but I mean a lot of people I feel like overlook these items just because they are so simple. So the things that I absolutely have to have when I'm creating content are stationary pens, pencils, post-its. These are essential to making sure I stay on top of things, making sure I stay organized. So this little notepad, any post-its, anything that you can take little quick notes on is essential. Helps me stay a lot more organized. Another thing that seems like a no-brainer is a planner or agenda. Now, this thing is a lifesaver. Anytime I don't use this thing on a regular basis and don't keep myself on track and make notes and put down dates or anything like that, I get really off track and this helps me stay focused and helps me know what's coming up next, what I need to get done. And it's just really helpful. I would recommend anybody who has a hard time staying on task or who just is pretty much all over the place like I am on a general basis, get a planner, it will help you so much. The next thing is also super basic, 50 cents at Walmart is a composition book and I use this to write down concepts for videos, ideas, um, pretty much anything that is video production related goes in this notebook. I myself am a very visual person. I like to write things down. I like to put it on paper. And I know all our phones and tablets and computers have note-taking apps on them these days, but for me, this just is so much better. I feel like it works better for me. Now, if you're like me and you spend a lot of time on your computer, you're probably gonna wanna get some stuff to make that as enjoyable as possible because yes, YouTube is fun, I love it, but there are times when I have worked all day already and then I have to come home and edit for another three hours or so and sometimes it's not always the most comfortable sitting at a computer all day at work and then coming home and being on the computer for another three four hours so the things that I have picked up to make that a little bit easier for me um, is just a really good mouse and this is just a little Logitech mouse that you can get at Best Buy, Walmart, anywhere like that um, and I like this one because it is wireless and it's very accurate and I like this mouse, um, but any mouse will do. The next item is just this cheap little um, mouse pad that I got from Amazon. I think it was like a $1.50 or something like that. But I like it because it has a little place for your wrist to rest so you don't get any of that carpal tunnel action going on. But I like it. Um, it was cheap. It works. Also on the topic of laptops and computers. Um, I sometimes don't always like to sit at my desk to edit or do whatever. I feel like I'm very productive at my desk and it it's a nice area for me to work but sometimes like I said if I'm getting home from work and I have editing to do and I have a lot of work to do and it's one of those days where I'm super tired this thing right here comes in handy. It is so comfortable. I can sit on my couch or in my bed and work from this little laptop lap station thing. It has a little uh, pillow pad thing on the back and it's a really good size. It looks huge. It kind of is big. But my laptop fits on here as well as my mouse which is nice. And it's very stable and it's just like the perfect size. So this I picked up, or actually my mom got this for me at Walmart. And they have them in a bunch of different colors and they're only like 10 bucks. So this is a huge lifesaver when I am feeling tired and I need to get something done. Now, those of you who are YouTubers and you need to take your work on the go, or if you're a student and you need to take your work on the go, a laptop bag is essential. So that way you can protect your investment. You don't want your laptop getting broken or anything like that. I picked up this neoprene bag from Amazon, from Amcase. I don't really know that brand, but I picked this one because it's very slim and it still has like the padding so it's going to protect my laptop. I like to keep my traveling items as small and as slim and as less bulky as possible and this just works perfectly. It has a pouch on the outside, a little zippered pouch that you can put like your charger and stuff in and then my laptop fits perfectly in here and it just makes my life a lot easier. 
The last couple of items I'm going to talk about are audio related. So if you're like me and you pretty much can't function without music playing in the background, you'll probably want to get something like this. It doesn't have to be a Hello Kitty head. I just happen to obsessively like Hello Kitty. And I'm trying to taper that off because I'm getting older and I know it's probably not as acceptable when you're in your 20s as when you're a teenager. But anyways, that's another story. So this I got from my sister last Christmas and I love this thing. The sound quality is so amazing on it and it's so cute. So this is pretty much what I have on all the time. If I'm at home, I'm in my office, this is playing music 90% of the time. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just so handy. There are a lot of other ones that you can get. Uh, before I had this, I had like a little tiny um, speaker. I don't even remember what brand it was, but it worked and gets the job done. So this, I feel like helps me be a lot more productive because when I have music playing in the background, I just feel like I get things done so much faster and so much better. The next thing I'm going to talk about are a pair of headphones. And it doesn't have to be this specific pair, but if you are a YouTuber on the go or you are a student who likes to have music or media or anything like that with you when you're on the go, a good pair of headphones is essential. These ones I just picked up probably last week and they're from JLab I think, but the sound quality on these is amazing. Um, they were like 60 bucks. Um, I was not going to go and pay $300 for a pair of Beats. I wanted them, but I'm not going to pay that for Beats. Um, my brother has like the Beats earbuds and I let him listen to music on these when I first got them and he went out and got a pair the very next day. So what does that tell you? Um, but yeah, I really like these. You don't have to spend $60, you don't have to spend $300 because before I was using these, I had these ones right here. No matter what your budget is, you can find stuff that's going to work for you and still make your job easier. So that's just supposed to show you $60, $6. They were both getting the job done. I do happen to like these a little bit better because the quality is a little nicer um, of the actual headphone and the sound quality is a little nicer, but these definitely get the job done. So a good pair of headphones is essential. Speaking on the subject of audio, this item may only apply to um, YouTubers or I don't know if you're a musician or something, but a good mic. So what I use, and this isn't for on the go use, obviously because I'm not recording voiceovers out on the go, but this mic right here is a blue snowball, ice ball, to be honest with you, I don't know, it says snowball on it, but I think snowball is the brand, but this one I bought it, it said ice ball in the description. Um, and this thing works really well. It's super easy to use. It just plugs into my laptop. It automatically recognizes it. I don't have to turn anything on. It just automatically starts using this for the audio input when I plug it into my computer. So this is really nice for voiceovers. Before this, I was using um, like a cheap little headset from Walmart. It was one of those ones that you could plug into your computer and I think it was for like video chat or something like that. Any of you who have been with me for a long time, you know that I had voiceover videos in the past and that some of the sound quality was not so great. So if you've been with me for that long, thank you so much and sorry for the poor sound quality in the past. With that being said, I have showed you a few of the tools and things that make life easier for me when I am doing YouTube stuff. Um, I really think this is super applicable to students as well because we're using a lot of the same items that you know we need for everyday use um, but yeah thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel today and I will see you all soon